Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. In the last one, we were at Donington Park on a test day. If you've not seen that video, the link is in the description down below. We came away from Donington Park with a few jobs to do. One of which is to fix that. Second of all, we're going to be fitting a Race Logic V-Box. I'll explain why we're going to be fitting a V-Box later on in the video, but for now, let's get to it. First job is to fit the V-Box. Bought some nice teal coloured cable ties, ish, to fit with. Might go for a little bit of teal on the car this year. Possibly, we'll find out later. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, so, we're gonna put this somewhere in the passenger footwell. I don't know, where's it going? Is it going there? Five minutes of me trying to take stickers off the bottom of the e box. What we'll do, probably stick it down there so it's out of the way. Right, so um, what are we using? Dual lock. Dual lock? 3M dual lock. So we're going to use um, 3M dual lock, top and bottom, to stick it down with, and then we're going to secure that with uh, cable ties through the rail just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So, there we go. There we go. So, big cable ties over the top. That'll be it, it's secured. Then we can start routing in all the cables. So now that we've got the V-Box mounted, next thing to do is fit the cameras. We're going to have one mounted on the left hand front pillar, point out the front window, one point out the back window, and then we've got the aim camera on the uh, cross that can see me and out the windscreen. First camera, we're gonna mount somewhere around here. So when we're reviewing the data after the race, we can see the cars around us. So second camera, we're gonna put on this pillar here, looking out the front window. So, before we start cable tying them all in, um, we need to fit, basically put all the parts in place to make sure they can root them all nice and neatly. So we're gonna stick the antenna on the roof. So that's gonna get rooted down this um, front pillar with the two cameras. Um, and then we're gonna route in the lap timer display from here underneath the dash and then down into the back of the V-Box as well. So we'll get everything we need to in place and then we can start cable tying it all properly. So this is the antenna, this is magnetic. So we're gonna feed this through the back door, stick it on the roof, and then there we go. Route it inside with all the other cables into the back of the box. We've just mounted the microphone underneath the dash on the passenger side here, just to pick up any in-car noise. The last thing to mount is the race logic display. I'm gonna mount this just on the dash here, so it's nice and visible on mount on circuit. The main thing I use this display for is to look at my delta, which tells you if you are up or down on your previous fastest lap. The reason we use a V-Box is so that we can record data whilst on circuit to review back in the pits with the aim to help us improve our lap times. At the end of the session, we can look at the data as displayed on the screen. This shows us lap times, sector times, a track map, and the video footage so we can visually see what we can do to improve. This is why we have a camera out the front and the back of the car. Okay, so V-Box is all mounted up, as you can see. Just inside the car, we've got display, camera up there, camera just mounted there, 
and then all nice and neatly tied down here into the back of the V-box. So next thing to do is to get it up in the air and then get the front bumper and the wing off. Front bumper and the wing are now off the car. Took a little bit longer than expected because we had to take the car back off the ramp. But we've now got a pile of parts to go to the paint shop. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one. Link is in the description down below.